Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. So, uh, <coughs> no, what am I even saying? Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. So, Halloween is over, right? And, uh, I still have Halloween decorations on my island, which is super awkward. So, I'm thinking today we're gonna go clear out those old decorations and replace them with good old fairy core decorations kind of spruce up the island a bit fix all these little areas so yeah if you would like to join me grab your switch grab a snack maybe grab a frog and uh let's let's just go so first of all um i'm gonna take all the decorations that i put outside of villager houses like this from lily's house because they don't need that anymore they just don't and then we also have our little seasonal area over here uh yeah this is gonna have to be like totally redone I'm just gonna go ahead and clean everything up and yeah we're gonna put something else here I'm really not sure what yet I have one item that I would like to put here which is a garden wagon oh of course of of course it isn't uh, me playing Animal Crossing unless my pockets are full all right here we go we got it honestly I'm glad to take this stuff away feels very freeing feels I don't know it just feels good and we also can't forget the stuff up top. Put a lot of stuff up here. Even though Nook's Cranny still has pumpkins outside of it, but whatever. All right, there we go. It's it's naked. Okay, where else do I have Halloween stuff? Oh, get rid of this. Get rid of this boy. And then, of course, the main area is the pumpkin patch. And honestly, I've been considering keeping it mostly the same, I think. Because, like... It's it's fine, especially since I use white pumpkins. I think it can really fit in. So I honestly think I'm gonna leave the majority of it. I'm just gonna take away all the the spooky stuff. I'll have to get a different arch. Hmm, that's gonna be a fun fun choice. And then we have our little pumpkin carving area, which is really cute, but that's kind of you know, it's it's very Halloween-y, so we're at least going to replace some of these items. I do want to keep these candles. Those are really cute. And yeah, get rid of like the, the carving stuff here. But yeah, we can definitely just replace it with some other items. We'll we'll make do. Already, it's looking very fairy core. I, I love it. It's the, the pumpkins really, or the Halloween decorations really do make a difference. Okay, so I've had an idea. For some stuff to put to replace the uh, little pumpkin patch that we just cleared out. Okay, so for arches, I kind of wanted to do a tree's bounty arch, but I don't have the materials. And uh, yeah, it, it was kind of like more cottage core that I wanted. So we're going with this. <laughs> I think this looks really cute. Um, uh, it, it, it matches. It matches the garden wagon. I think <laughs> we might need to make this sign um, white wood instead. I think that kind of clashes. We've got a lot of a lot of white going around here. Oh, and I think some pink flowers would be really cute. Okay. Um, for the most part, yeah, I'm gonna keep all of this the same because it looks real, real cute. I think I'm actually gonna replace these green mush lamps. At least maybe one of them. That's a bit too many green mush lamps. Can I just please do a white one? Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that looks that looks a little better. And then I had a scarecrow here. I don't know what to put there. I completely forgot about that. I did not plan for that. Ooh, um, would it be weird to put a rocking chair in the middle of a pumpkin patch? You know what would be cute? Okay, we're gonna try this. You know what would be cute? I'm gonna sacrifice a tree. Oh, this is a nurse. Oh wait. Never mind, I'm not gonna sacrifice a tree. I don't have a big enough one. Um, actually, that might be cute. Also, you can see the you can see the dilemma. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> you can see the dilemma going through my head. Okay. I was thinking to put like a like a tree, a fully grown tree, and cut it down to do the tree stuff. But I don't have a fully grown tree in my inventory, but then I was like, wait, maybe that's fine, and I'll just do this little sprout. I don't know if it's gonna grow. If it does grow, that's fine, and I'll just cut it down, like I said, to do the tree stuff. But if it stays like that, that also looks really cute. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, everything else is mostly good. Okay, this table. This table. Let's see what we've got for this table. We have the candle set. I have some star clocks. Oh, that's- oh, okay, that's it. That's- okay. Um, looks like we're just gonna do that. 
I guess there's- let's just do a star clock. Okay, to get it to face the way I want, I have to freaking move this and then go in here and then do this. It's just gonna be a bunch of lights on this table. Just a bunch of lights. I'm gonna put the candles because I still want to keep the candles. Very cute. Yeah, why don't we- Sherp, do you like it? Oh my god, he likes it! How cute is he? Okay, actually, actually, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I have this lost item. Boom. There we go. Um, it's just kind of like a mismatch. Kind of table- oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. We can't have these two star clocks like this. Oh, that looks so ugly. Okay, I'm gonna put the pink one here. What was I thinking? Okay, uh... Let's do- can we do like a pink- I want that pink star clock, please. You know what? White one is fine. That's fine. Let's try to do this. Just a little flower, you know? Just a little flower. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's good. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of good. Okay, and then I think lastly, let's customize this to be white and let's go get some pink flowers to put on the outside. So first off, let me tell you- let me tell you what I see here. There's no custom designs under this wagon, which is a crime. So we're gonna fix that. Just gonna quickly um, throw some little flowers. Um, so they don't exactly go underneath, but that's that's okay. And then Tipper's here hanging out. And then we customized the wooden shop sign, and I think it's gonna look better now. Yeah, I think that does look better. That matches a lot nicer. All right, so let's start adding some of these flowers that we brought just to kind of liven it up a little bit. It's looking a little, it's looking a little empty and dead around here. So we got some flowers. And then I will put one bad boy over here. I'm gonna put one single stepping stone right here because I feel like this needs something, but it doesn't need an item. Oh, okay, that's not where I wanted it to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's- it's- uh, it's okay. It's- it's fine. I think that looks a little better. And then I think I'm gonna do one last little adjustment for the pumpkin patch area, which is replacing some of those cedar trees that I have. I have been going ham with the cedar trees. Don't get me wrong, I love cedar trees, but I've been thinking more and more about like the finished product of my island and how it's gonna look and, you know, just finishing my island in general. And I know that I want to save my island and have it be like done, forever done, in cherry blossom season. Which is, you know, gonna make it nice and pink and more fairy core looking and all that jazz. And I always say this and it's- and I just- I- I'm doing cedar trees. Why am I doing cedar trees? I'm gonna save it in cherry blossom season so I need the regular hardwood trees. So. There's areas where I have so many cedar trees and I know it's not going to have the beautiful pink trees that I want. So I just got to I got to replace some of them, you know? So especially this one, if we're going to have a beautiful little fairy core kind of pumpkin patch area, we need that pink cherry blossom tree right here. So I'm going to replace this one. There we go. It looks ugly right now because we're in fall and the trees are gross, but when cherry blossom season hits, you guys will see. You guys will freaking see. And like this area, like I know it's supposed to be a foresty area back here, but still I need the the cherry blossoms, man. I just, I just need it. So what else are we going to replace? I think maybe this one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's completely eating this mush lamp though. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I think he's going to be sacrificed, the mushroom lamp. Oh well, and then we'll push- we'll just push this back a bit. That's gonna be it for now, uh, for that area. Oh wait, wait, we can put the mush lamp like right here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I think that's it for the pumpkin patch. Like I said, I did a pretty good job at making it like fairy core already, so I didn't have to change much. It already looks really cute, despite the fact that we're in ugly fall season, but yeah, taking away the spooky decorations- oh, I forgot a fence. Ho ho. Almost slipped up. Almost slipped up right there. I actually think I'm gonna move these white flowers that we have down here right up there. I think that's gonna look better. There we go. Okay, so yes, as I was saying, taking away the spooky decorations really helped and uh, just replacing them with some clean white ones, all nice and matchy. It looks really nice. And we added a little bit more 
to this area out here. And yeah, there we go. That's that's it for the uh, for the pumpkin patch. So what is our next area? We have our seasonal area. We also have Rosie's house area that are kind of like the main areas where I put a lot of Halloween decorations. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> I really don't. I did want to put a garden wagon, so I have to go find one. Because if you don't know, this is my little seasonal area. I could probably put fall stuff here, but I really had this idea with like the garden wagon. The idea was to put a garden wagon. I don't know. Um, you know, Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, if they release any other furniture sets. But for now, honestly, I'm just going to put some, some cute little fairy core decor and just kind of call it a day. This is a pretty awkward area shape wise anyway like it's just kind of like this awkward slanted space so I'm not I'm never sure what to do with it. I am never sure even now yeah I don't know what to do. I put the garden wagon that was my only plan. That was my only freaking plan. Oh I could put a tree. Why don't we put a tree? Oh okay that works. That honestly works. And then let's just throw... Ooh, a harp. How beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay. The ideas, they're coming. They're coming. Let's pull this forward. Um, toss some little sparkly... Where are those stars that I like? I've been loving these stars. They're supposed to be for the sand, but I like to put them on the grass. Oh, and then we'll put a harp. Oh, how lovely. How lovely is that? Let's grab some flowers because I think we are lacking. We can put one in the back here. Let's put these tulips. And then let's see. One right here. These cosmos. Honestly, like I would be fine with this. It looks a little bit incomplete. Maybe we can get some fencing or some weeds. Kind of finish it up a bit. Okay. So we got the goods. We got the goods. I'm going to put a little mush stool right here. So we have kind of like a little seating area on the water next to these flowers. And then let's see, what else did I bring? Oh yes, I have some log stakes that I kind of want to toss somewhere. But you know what? Okay. What I'm seeing is this is, this is too white. <laughs> so I'm going to swap these. Let's put the cosmos over here instead. And then let's put the tulips right here. So it's not so blinding, you know? And then let's just kick off a part of the uh, path because that's totally what you meant to do completely just to ruin everything. Okay, and then I'm gonna try some log stakes. Yeah, just like this little, this little stuff. Little stuff, looks good. Then I'm gonna do some weeds just in the back here. Ugh, the fall weeds are so ugly. So, so ugly. And then I've got this little this little baby lonely spot. Let's toss a mush lamp. Can never have enough. All right, and then this is the little area. It's uh, it's very simple. Didn't really want to do too much to it because you know I I pass through here all the time, so I don't want it to be too cluttered. But yeah, that looks really cute. I like it. It's good. It's good for now. Okay, next up is the little pumpkin farm. Which is super cute, and I like it. Uh, it's super overgrown right now, oh my goodness. I don't know why the weeds have been really spreading. I could have sworn I put down enough so that they wouldn't keep growing, but they just do it anyway. We are going to get to it. Our little lavender farm. I gotta get rid of all these freaking pumpkins. So yeah, I used to have a way bigger lavender farm. If you haven't seen that speed build, it's still there if you want to see it. It's not on my island anymore because I did a lot of uh, a lot of changes. <laughs> but I did want it to remake it. I always wanted to remake it. I said I would. So I did say also I had an idea to give it to Rosie because she's kind of like blueberry lavender colored kind of. And then she has this little farm area here and uh, yeah, the pumpkins are not really my aesthetic and next to the very, very cottage core looking kind of um, orchard that I have, it's just, it's not a vibe. It's not a vibe for Rosie. So we're gonna, we're gonna do lavender instead. 
and kind of try to include the same elements that I had on my previous lavender farm. Hopefully I can manage it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the, uh, the main attraction, the lavender, quote unquote, just purple hyacinths. And yeah, I, I had some cute little rows in my last farm. This is a lot more compact and kind of squished together. So I don't know if I'm going to have like the same stuff I used to have because I used to have like a little stool and a little shovel buried in one of the rows. So I kind of want to do that just to break it up a little bit because I typically don't like when like a little farm area just has rows and rows of straight you know, whatever crop quote unquote you're doing, if that makes sense. Like how my pumpkin patches, I like to break it up. It's not just all pumpkins. It has weeds, it has, you know, little sprouts, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so I did bring some of the elements that I was talking about. I brought a little stool and I brought the little shovel, kind of the same stuff that I had on my old one. So I'm going to see how they look. It's it's cute. It's really cute. I, I can't even lie. And then I do want the shovel to be like kind of offset from the stool. So let's put it here. I would put it one row down, but then it's going to be blocking this little gap, which I do like. I do like to have accessibility, you know, just in case I'm just running around everywhere. So, okay. Can I, can I please rotate this? Thank you. That's cute. Okay. And then I think we need to have one more little thing somewhere probably in this corner just to do the rule of three you know we have like three little <laughs> little extra elements in this farm so i i don't know what i could put here okay i actually i actually have the perfect thing it's perfect don't even come for me don't even just 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 listen listen it's it's good okay hold on if i could if i could find it <laughs> okay here we go there it is Butterfly model! Oh, how cute is that? How cute is that? I love it. Okay. So, I do want to change up some of the outside. It's It looks very cottagecore right now. And while that's completely fine, I am not a cottagecore kind of gal. So, I'm just going to try to rearrange some things. Because there are some other elements from my previous lavender farm, like I keep saying, <laughs> that I want to include. Like I had a little statue and I had... A hyacinth lamp there's a bunch of stuff and i want everything to be able to fit in here but it's already kind of chaotic and kind of messy and yeah it's okay so we're gonna clear this out a bit i also totally forgot about the scarecrow where could i put that man i could shove him in this corner because he's cute yes okay he fits perfectly right here there's some stray piece of wood back here all right all right, so now we have a good little chunk, a good little section right here. And we got a lot of stuff. We have a good amount of stuff that I want to kind of incorporate. The main thing is the statue. I used to have this statue right in front of my lavender farm. It's kind of a big statue. It takes up a lot of space. She, She's thick. So let's see, I need to place this differently because it's taking up the walkway. Here we go. It is, it is a statement piece for sure. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So let's see. Putting that there does not give us a lot of room to work with, to be honest. <laughs> to be quite honest, which is fine. You know, we can, we can work with, we can work with small stuff. Um, the other thing I had was a barrel, which I forgot to grab. So let me get that. All right, we got the barrel. I think I'm going to slap some custom designs on the floor like I always do. So it's looking a little naked back here. Now I think we can shove the barrel back here. Yes. Okay. We can shove the barrel here and then I'm going to put the beautiful hyacinth lamp on top of it. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> and then what I think I would also like is a little mushroom stool here wherever that is in my inventory because again we don't have too much space to work with which is okay it's fine actually i think i'm gonna move the stool let's put it here instead like right here editing raven here i noticed i never picked up that pumpkin and it bothers me and i'm sorry and then this bush is looking absolutely so sad i don't like it 
I'm gonna replace it. And then does another bush fit right here? Because that would be nice. Yes, it does. Okay. And I su I'm second guessing the, the mush stool. We're moving it back. We are putting it back where it was because I can't decide things. Okay, then instead, let's just put these mums. Oh, okay, that's actually, that's fine. That's fine. And then let's put some little custom designs because I don't want to keep this too cluttered. It's a little cluttered looking right now. So let's put some of these stars and let's put some of these. Oh, and then also we have weeds. I can't forget about that. Put some weeds here. And honestly, I think that's pretty much it. This is what it looks like now. Very, very pretty. Uh, we even have the rocking chair, which I was also going to try to incorporate because I had that in the last uh, lavender farm, but it's already here, part of Rosie's house. And then we've got the beautiful statue and, you know, just some, some extra little things. I like it. It looks a little bit less cottagecore. <laughs> and then I actually thought that was the last area, but it's not. I totally forgot about my freaking entrance. Yeah, still Halloween up in here. So before we get into that, I have one last thing I wanted to do. One last uh, little task on my list. I have finally decided where I'm going to keep my house permanently, I think. <laughs> At least I hope this is going to be its permanent home. Um, I got a comment from someone suggesting that I move my house behind my lake and like behind all those trees all the way in the back. And I thought it was the best idea ever. So we're gonna move my house behind my lake. I think this is the perfect solution for me because I always say, I don't know what to do with my house. I just really don't. I don't know how to decorate it. I don't know how to just make it look cute. So by putting it all the way back here, I don't have to worry about decorating it. I don't have to worry about all that stuff. And I really don't want it on a second tier because I hate using my ladder. So, it's going to be perfect. I think literally right here is going to be absolutely perfect because I don't want it to be covering the secret beach and this is where the little path leads. So this is going to be actually perfect. Let's just get this bamboo tree out of the way first so we don't destroy it. And let's see what's going to look good. Actually, will it even let me? That's that's a question, huh? Let me imagine it. Let's see how this looks. I'm excited. Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's kind of cute. Okay, maybe I can move it over to the right a little bit. Let me imagine it. Is this a good spot? I think this is a good spot. We can fix up the path and we can, <laughs> we can move that tree. Yay, we did it! I like this. Okay, let's move this tree because it is absolutely in the way. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have our path maybe kind of branch off to my house and to the secret beach that's gonna be super cute first <laughs> we're gonna put a tree in this little corner hopefully i might have to shave off a bit of this cliff yeah i actually think i do have to it is absolutely not gonna let me put it there okay i wonder how many trees i could fit back here because this is kind of a lot of empty space a lot of empty dead space and I don't need to go back here for anything so okay I think the I could place one right where I'm standing it won't let me put it into my next to my house let me see if I could clear a bit of this so I could actually walk that would actually be nice oh yes okay okay this is this is going okay it won't let me do that which is understandable all right let's see I always mark them out so we need at least one space from the beach and one space from my house and one space from these cliffs i think we can place one tree one tree let's see nope we can't okay hmm okay i literally shaved off everything i could so let's see may i please yay <laughs> we did it I don't think there's enough space for another one, unfortunately. Since we have the designer app open, I might as well fix up these paths. We'll just get to it. Yeah, there we go. It's just kind of like, I kind of made just like a little blob, which is fine. All right, so I made this little path that branches off from my main path and just kind of leads over here. It's a little odd looking, but it does the job. Um, of course, I'll leave this little section for some very minor decor. 
from my house and this tree is gonna move it's not supposed to be here and I either might fill up this space with trees or I might just try to put something else I'm not really sure but yeah there we go there's there's my house it's gonna look it's gonna look great I'm very happy with the placement and now all I have to do is just run along here it's kind of a it's not even that much of a long walk then right here is the plaza and the shops it's, it's honestly not that bad all right and the last section my entrance first of all those spooky things had to go um let's pick up this what are my what are they doing back here friends um okay please i have to pick this up what are they doing there okay you're working out sure that okay that was just odd <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't remember how I had it before. I think I had a tree here. So do we have a tree? I'll just put the baby tree for now. I think we just had a tree. We had the crescent moon chair. Yeah, tree. Crescent moon chair. Um, I honestly don't remember. Oh, I don't think this was here. I think I had a flower right here. I think I had the, um, the lily of the valley. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. The lily of the valley, the tree, and then I think a star clock was like, maybe right in front of this tree? Either way, that's just how I'm gonna do it, because <laughs> that looks cute. And then we got some overgrown flowers back here, which I am not vibing with, so we're gonna move those. Honestly, I'm just gonna move these tulips here because I don't have an extra lily of the valley, which kind of sucks. That really says how... Um, how short of a time my island was five stars it's five star quality i know that it's just isabel doesn't like all the items i throw on the floor um honestly i think that's really it for the entrance oh no i had my little i had my little thingies here okay let me grab those and then i honestly think then that's actually it <laughs> then that's actually it all right so i think i'm gonna replace these custom designs because the lanterns that I have are white, and all those stones there on the floor are white, so I think it's a little much. Let's try these uh, fairy, fairy circle mushroom thingies. Kind of look cute. Uh, you can't even see them. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm honestly just going to leave them. It's fine. It's honestly fine. These are the stars of the show anyway. Cute. There we go. I think that's my old entrance more or less once this tree grows in it'll be cute here are this week's fan art submissions thank you guys so much for submitting as always you guys do amazing work and i'm so honored that you guys would make fan art for me if you would like to submit your own fan art there is a link to a google form down below all you have to do is submit through there thank you guys so much for continuing to submit so yeah that is pretty much it i just wanted to get some more fairy core elements onto my island and um kind of get rid of all the halloween stuff because <laughs> it's not halloween anymore so we uh we did a great job we did some cute decorating my island looks all better now so thank you so much for joining me i uh, hope you had fun just hanging out with me or maybe you got some inspiration and um i will see you over on discord and on my social medias all the links below be sure to like this video and if you're not subscribed then i mean just saying it might be a good idea to subscribe because you're i i don't know nah. Don't forget to dislike this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you would like to and I will see you in the next one.